This week on El Cara Ham Radio, we head down to the world's friendliest ham fest in Huntsville, Alabama. One of the largest ham fests of the year, if not the largest ham fest of the year. And just maybe, we'll try out some of the local cuisine. Great funnel cake and barbecue in Huntsville. This week on El Cara Ham Radio. Welcome back to El Cara Ham Radio. Well, it was time to hit the road, and we wanted to go to probably what will be this year's largest ham fest in Huntsville, Alabama. Nice trip from Kentucky. It's not very far from where Chris and I are based here in southeastern Kentucky. A little bit of a road trip, but road trips can be a lot of fun. And uh, so we loaded up the vehicle, and off we sped down to Huntsville. The uh, trip itself uh, uh, took us about, oh, about six hours, somewhere in that ballpark. And uh, the weather was wonderful. We didn't have too much uh, rain or anything to slow us down, make a few stops along the way just to make sure that we're comfortable. And uh, yeah, not that hard at all to reach the Huntsville Ham Fest in our vehicle. So I finished up some work and then we headed down and we spent the night at our hotel and then we headed over to the ham fest on saturday and uh, there were a lot of people there given that this would probably be the largest ham fest of the year uh, we could tell that there were there were a lot of people from lots of different places from california all the way to the east coast and uh, the number of booths wasn't quite as large as we would have liked to have seen we knew some of the some of the major players did uh, not come to this particular event, but we also had some of the major vendors at the event as well. Plus a lot of the smaller booths, and of course like at most ham fests, you can actually go and find a number of the uh, market-based items where individuals are selling different items that they have collected or have for sale at a ham fest. So we had a little bit of everything at this event. As we pan through, you can see the ARRL was there, of course, and then we had uh, some of the, again, the major vendors like Gigaparts and Comet and some of the others. And uh, what Chris and I were kind of surprised by was, again, the number of people. There were several thousand people at the event, and it was good to see folks get back out. If you wanted to wear a mask, you could. There was no uh, requirement that you had to wear a mask. Uh, I think they had posted if you were fully vaccinated, you didn't have to wear a mask. But ultimately, some folks wore masks who may uh, needed one and other folks decided not to. Here's where we're on the back side of the event. And this is where you can really find some of those hard to find items that may be on your list, or maybe you just need to buy a few connectors to round out your inventory. And one more shot of the backside of the event from a slightly different angle. You can see how large this hall was. And in fact, a good portion of this hall was in fact for the individuals who wanted to sell their wares. Wasn't quite as full as it probably could have been, but again, there was a decent, uh, respectable showing here on this end of the hall. And then one last shot, uh, really this time, <laughs> uh, showing the extent of the hall for this ham fest event. Nice and comfortable, not humid uh, inside the building. It was hot and humid that weekend uh, down in Huntsville, but that's pretty normal for them. And in addition, you, uh, you go to other places outside of your home base, you wanna try some of the food. Uh, I just was getting a little bit hungry, so I bought uh, a funnel cake at one of the concessions there at the event. I love funnel cake and of course I did share some with KY4CKP. And speaking of others, we had a really good showing for our club and one of the reasons we wanted to put this video together is not so much the event itself as far as individual vendors and so forth, but just as a club event. It's great to go down with other club members. We had uh, four club members down at this event, myself, 
KY4CKP, KK4KTV, AC4AG, and then a couple of members brought their wives and or their family. And so this can be a great way to get out on a weekend, have some fun, and do other things. You're in Huntsville, Alabama, so you get a chance to visit Space City, maybe go to the Space uh, Museum and so forth there in Huntsville with your family. Both of my kids went to the camp when they were in school, and uh, I've been to Huntsville several times for work, so it was good to be back in the area and to get some of that great food and barbecue. Here we're looking at uh, the Wolf River Coils booth and uh, AC4AG was bound and determined to purchase one of the Wolf River Coils and uh, in fact he got a good deal on a Wolf River Coil and that's another reason to go to these ham fests. Uh, the different vendors usually will run specials. Here we're looking at the Comet booth, one of the larger booths at the ham fest this year but Comet's always got a lot of different things that you might be interested in, whether it's mobile uh, antennas, base antennas, antennas you might use with your repeater, um, window jumpers, which we'll see in just a minute, just a lot of great parts, uh, antenna parts and cabling options there. And uh, I use a lot of window jumpers here at my uh, compound. Chris uses also the window jumpers. Great little tool, especially if you don't have uh, windows that can form to uh, having the bottom little uh, connector panel. Here we're looking at uh, Comet's latest CAA-500 Mark II antenna analyzer. We got a demonstration of the antenna analyzer, but due to the, the uh, chip shortage, they are like a lot of vendors having a hard time keeping inventory, but we hope to be able to review this unit in the future. But uh, we did get a demo there and it was a nice little unit. Here we're looking at some of the mobile antennas that you might purchase from Comet and uh, lots of different ways to mount them. Some of them are mobile, some of them you can actually use with uh, a QRP rig. We also visited some of the other vendors. This one was uh, really intriguing because at uh, Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, we have a once a month event called Hands On with El Cara where we actually build things, uh, we do presentations, things like that. And we were really intrigued by this kit uh, that you can purchase. Uh, at the moment, it's not as hams, uh, ham friendly as uh, will be in the future, but there's all kinds of electronics based uh, experiments that you could build with these kits. And then we're looking at a space station explorer kit that was built for NASA and for the space station. Now, hello folks, this is Chris KY4CKP here at Huntsville Ham Fest, and today we have Steven in 418. And he happened to recognize this, so he is getting a very own official ham hacker, Randy Patch, recognizing us at Huntsville Ham Fest. Congratulations. Congratulations. And have fun. Always fun to uh, meet some of uh, our fans out at these ham fests and to give away some patches. And we had an opportunity to get up with some of the other YouTubers and uh, at a local night spot, have a few beverages, maybe a snack. This was a lot of fun for Chris and I. We've been doing the uh, uh, channel now for a little over two years, and it was good to meet some of the other YouTubers out there, some of the big channels, and some of the channels about our size as well. And we hopefully will one day be a larger channel as well. So a lot of fun to meet some of these other folks in the YouTube community that's helping Ham Radio grow again. So it was great to see some of these other folks and get some additional ideas. Folks, Try to go to a local ham fest this year if there are still some available in your area. Show others and the clubs that usually sponsor these events that you care and that, uh, that you want to support ham radio. The Huntsville Ham Fest was a lot of fun. It was a great road trip for Chris and I uh, to get out there and visit with each other, uh, talk about some of the things that we want to do with the channel, as well as uh, get some additional ideas for videos that we might want to come out with in the future. And a ham fest just uh, usually sparks a lot of new ideas that, you, that we want to bring to you this year and going into next year. And the other reason really to go to a ham fest in your local area is to support your local clubs because this can be a money-making event for that club because it takes money to run repeaters in your area and to maintain those same devices. 
Well, we'll wrap up this week's video. This is KY4BDP for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. Get out there and show others that ham radio is still alive and well. 73.